Hello everybody, welcome to Linux Excel tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install Nagios on OpenSUSE 13.2. Let me see the installation of Nagios. Before installation of Nagios, install the pre-request package of Apache MySQL and many more. Press enter. Press Y to continue. Now the pre-request package will be installed. Next I am going to create user and group for Nagios. For that type you should user add Nagios as enter. Next I am going to create group name for Nagios. Press enter. Now the group and user will be created for Nagios. Next add the Nagios user and Apache user into Nagios group. First, I am going to add Nagios user. Press enter. It will be added. Next, type www run to add Apache user. Press enter. It will be added. Next, go to cd temporary directory. Press enter. I am going to download the latest version of Nagios package here. Use duplicate and the following link to download the Nagios latest version package. Press enter to continue. Now the package will be started for downloading. Now the download will be completed. Next step extract the package by using tor xvf. Enter the Nagios package. Press enter. Now the extraction will be completed. Now open the Nagios extracted directory. Press enter. Next compile and install the Nagios package. Press enter. Now the compilation will be completed. Now type make all to install the further process. Press enter. Now the installation will be completed. Now next type make install. Press enter. Now it will be installed. Now next type make install in it. Press enter. Now it will be installed. Now next install make install config. Press enter. Now the config will be installed. Now next install make install command mode. Press enter. It will be installed. And next install make install web con of press enter. Now it will be installed. Now next I am going to configure some changes. Go to this location, press enter. This is the basic configuration file. Here the username will be presented here. And also email id will be presented here. If you want to change the email id means you can change. Then only you can get the Nagios notification. After done the settings means save and quit this file. Next I am going to set the login credential for uh, Nagios. This is the default username Nagios admin. Press enter. Now enter the password. Again repeat the password. Now uh, this is your default username for login Nagios and also you have entered the password. After done this settings now restart the Apache service for that type system ctl restart Apache 2 press enter. Now the Apache service will be restarted. Next, I am going to download the Nagios plugin. Use this command. Use duplicate and following command to download the Nagios plugin. Press enter to continue. Now the download will be started. Now the download will be completed. Now I am going to extract the Nagios plugin package by using tor. Press enter to continue. Now it will be extracted. Now next, I am going to compile and install the plugin. Press enter. Now the package will be compiled. Next, I am going to install. For that, type make. Press enter. Now, next, type make install. Press enter. Now the plugins will be compiled and installed. Now, verify the sample Nagios configuration file. Press enter. 
to check any error will be occurred or not here there is no error and no warning you can proceed the further steps next start the nagia service system ctl start nagias press enter now the nagia service will be started now enter your server ip and mention the nagias path press enter now the login credential will be asking the username is nagias admin Nagi is admin the password was created early enter that password here press enter after entering the username and password now the nagios will be successfully open in the web browser and also it shows the current version 4.08 if you check the if you want to check the overview means click here the overview statics will be shown here and if you want to check the host means click host option it will be shown the host details and if you want to check the host summary means you can check the summaries here one warning and critical action will be shown here now click services it will show the full services and status of your server and come down a system option will be there you can check the commands means you can click the command details here on down downtime details will be presented here if you want to check the process informants you can check here and uh, performance info will be shown here scheduling queue option will be there which can check the scheduling details here and if you want to configure means click the configuration option here now this is the method to install the nagios on uh, OpenSUSE 13.2 you can easily install this on this OpenSUSE and also you can easily monitor the server status without panic enjoy watching this tutorial thank you for watching